Welcome to Rear Panel Control, Part 2, Button Functions. Now notice, now that we've connected our hardware, we have the programmable input pin status, and you can simply click on the button, and you'll notice that each one of the LEDs, or the virtual LEDs, will light up corresponding to the button that you push. This is a really convenient feature in that you don't have to assign a function in order to test your hardware. Now that you've tested your hardware and verified that it works, let's actually assign a function to the programmable inputs. On the DM812 mixer, you have 11 programmable inputs. I selected programmable input number one. And let's assign increment input rear panel gain 1 dB. Once I select that function, I get a box that asks me which inputs would I like to apply this to. Let's select channel 1 and channel 2. Now, if I were to press my button, notice nothing happens here in rear panel input gain control. That's because the upper limit of rear panel gain is 0 dB. The lower limit is negative 60 dB, and negative 61 dB is off. So what I will do is I'll select decrement input rear panel gain. And I will assign this, once again, to inputs 1 and 2. Now as I push my button, you'll notice that it decrements in 1 dB increments. If I hold my button, it'll automatically ramp for me. Well, now that we have this assigned, let's go to programmable input number 2, and let's assign this button to increment the input rear panel gain, and we'll apply it to the same two channels, 1 and 2. And now when I push this button, very quickly, I have control of the rear panel input gain with two buttons. Notice I didn't have to press apply or OK. I didn't have to compile. I simply assign it and it works immediately. Now you may be asking, what if I'm not near the button panel and I still need to test? Well, notice we have a test button right next to the function drop-down menu. If I click on test, you'll notice that it operates just as if you had a real button. And once again, if I go to programmable input number one, it'll test that function as well. Okay.